Hey everybody, this is Shayla with S. Clark Digital Co. Today I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube thumbnail using Canva. If you have Canva Pro, you can do some branding, and so I'm creating a branding template today. You don't have to, you can do this all for free. Um, it just takes a few more steps. So today we're going to be creating um, a thumbnail for a YouTube video I have made recently. Actually, just finished editing it today. And so we're going to start by picking out a layout, a template that we like, and we're going to just edit it and personalize it to what we like. Um, Canva already has the dimensions of a YouTube thumbnail, so I just went and I clicked on the YouTube thumbnail template, and then they give you all these options here. I like to have my picture on the right and my words on the left for all my videos. It kind of gives it a um, simplistic look, kind of a theme going, I guess. So what I did is I, I flipped over this picture that I liked, um, this template that I liked. I flipped over the picture image to where it's going to be on the right, and now I'm going to replace it with my own image. So you'll just go over here to um, the camera roll and pick out the picture that you're going to put in there. Mine is of a standard poodle that belongs to my daughter. And um, I created this as a cartoon photo. So it's something I drew in Procreate. We're going to pop it in there. That's the end result. Now because I flipped this picture upside down, my new picture is upside down. We're going to have to rotate it and flip it over. There we go. And I like that I keep the reference picture in there so you can actually see what I was using as a before and an after right on the thumbnail, which is nice. So people can see that you can use any photo to make or create this picture. Next, we're going to edit um, the font and the wording that's in this thumbnail. Center it, make it how you want. I like everything to look really nice and neat and clean. Um, now, being a Canva Pro um, member, or you know, I have the subscription for it. I have some extra font options. It also lets me to save certain fonts as part of my branding. So I use the same fonts in all of my thumbnails to um, just kind of keep it. You know neat and clean like we talked about so first I'm going through and I'm changing my fonts before I change the words I'll still go back and redo this again later um, because you have to see how it looks and then tweak it to where you like it I make sure that my brand is on every thumbnail and that the title is super clear of what the video is actually showing Next, we're going to go up here and change the font um, text here. We're going to type in our title. Create a beautiful standard poodle in Procreate. I like my titles to be very clear as to what the video is. Um, I'm fully aware that I spelt standard wrong and I fix it by the end of this video. Right now we're just worrying about what font we're going to use and um, where our wording is placed. Center that, get it where you like it. I move it around a couple of times before I'm happy with it. Change the line spacing so that it kind of spreads your words down um, and takes up more of that space. It makes everything look a little more clear and not so jumbled together. And feel free to change your font um, within the title. That's going to help um, the text stand out. 
so people are drawn to it and so I'm even going to put that um, paint splash behind um, the standard poodle as well to make that pop here I am fixing my text <laughs> my spelling so adding the paint um, brush splash whatever you want to call it behind the standard poodle really brings your focus to those words and then we're going to um, kind of put a tag in it is what I'm doing here it's something that I'm putting in every thumbnail so that when people search create with Shayla my videos pop up um, so I try to get that on all of my thumbnails and now I'm gonna move that around to where I think it looks best center it we're gonna change the word create to paint um, just so that I'm not using the word create too many times on this picture on this thumbnail next we're gonna change the color um, behind the wording now this is another thing that I have a theme going on for my branding, so I use um, a specific, probably eight or ten colors, you know, maybe eight, something like that. And so right now we're going to use yellow, bright, stands out, um, and then we're going to change, well first I'm adding an arrow to, to kind of separate our wording some more, um, just to make everything a little bit more clear and easy to read. I'm adding my logo with this. Um, I created it here in Canva and they have an awesome background remover so I'm just gonna remove the background of it and pop it in over there in the yellow part. Makes it look very professional. And then we're gonna save it. That's all it is, guys. Super easy, I save it as an image and then I'll upload it as my thumbnail. I also um, am uploading this to my branding template so that I can use it again. Um, all I'd have to do is go in and change my photo, change around the words a little bit, maybe the colors, and reuse this template. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. We're new and we need your subscriptions and I'll See you next time.